Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray as we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, Human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech you, mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 3 verses 16 to 21. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world, not condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does what is true comes to the light, that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Wednesday of the second week of Easter to you. From the Gospel we have heard, I have chosen the theme, God's love demonstrated in Jesus Christ. My dear good listener, Jesus for us is a mirror of God's love. Do you want to see God? Then see Jesus. In John chapter 14, to have seen me is to have seen the Father. If you do not believe in me, at least believe because of the deeds I perform. Because the deeds I perform are the very deeds of my Father. So my dear good listener, Jesus for us becomes the mirror through which we see God's face of love and mercy. And so in the gospel we have heard, Jesus says to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. My dear good listener, we received Jesus Christ because of God's love. He died for us because of God's love. He resurrected from the dead because of God's love. And so he is seated at his right hand in heaven interceding for us because of God's love. It is all about God's love. We were not saved by our own power. And Jesus never saved us because we are perfect. As Paul says, he came to us when we were at our worst, when we were sinners, and he died for us. And so, my dear good listener, if you and I have accepted Jesus Christ to demonstrate to us this love of God, we can't remain the same. That's why Jesus is telling us that this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. We cannot receive Jesus' love. We cannot receive God's love. We cannot receive the Holy Spirit's love if we remain evil, if we remain in darkness of sin. No. We must not love darkness and whatever is done in darkness, because every sin is never done in light, it is done in darkness that is not sin. But whoever has received love, love is never hidden. Love is manifested, because God is love, First John chapter 4 verse 16, His love was demonstrated through Jesus. So love is never hidden, is demonstrated. Love is like light. Light can be com- love can be compared to light. Light is never hidden. Light must shine forth to give people that ability to see. It enlightens the world. Love is that light that illumines the life of Christians, those who have received God into their lives. 
for everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed like somebody going to steal they never steal during the day even if it is during the day they must do it in darkness that they are not seen they must put on masks for example that they are not seen but he who does what is true comes to the light that he may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God my dear good listener have your deeds been wrought in God my dear good listener to receive God's love is to live in light and to live in light means that whatever we do is sin that's why Jesus says those who follow him they will be known by their deeds and the diary of saint faustina number 949 she writes the love of god is the flower mercy the fruit so my dear good listener when we read some of the divine mercy litany we understand that the mercy of god is the expression of his love just like god is love but he becomes merciful when we see him give us his son to die for us So that's why Jesus demonstrates to us through St Faustina that he is love and mercy itself. So he is love and expresses his love through mercy. Some of the divine mercy written expressions. Divine mercy greatest attribute of God. Divine mercy incomprehensible from mystery. Divine mercy gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity. Divine mercy and fathomed by an intellect human or angelic divine mercy source of miracles and wonders divine mercy encompassing the whole universe so when we see some of these divine mercy expressions we understand that god is love first john chapter 4 verse 16 but is also mercy luke chapter 6 verse 36 so mercy expresses god's love jesus who is mass itself expresses god's love the love of god is in his heart but his heart we don't see so we see god's heart in jesus christ who expresses the mercy of god may therefore dear friends be merciful because the divine mercy is about three things a b c a ask for mercy b be merciful c completely trust in god's mercy may god therefore give us the grace to be wrought in him by the love that he has demonstrated to us through jesus christ our lord the lord be with you and may the god of love and mercy bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen i wish you the best of the day and kindly share with others this gospel message but also subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not yet done so may god bless you for the sake of his sorrowful